I'd rather just look at the cool art. I vaguely think I remember what this card does. Okay, right. apparently I don't actually have to read that much stuff. I just have to read Barrel Legend. Huh. I know more of this deck than I thought I knew. That's a win. But anyway, we're going to Barrel Legend some people's faces off. I imagine if it's a bear and it's a legend and it costs four mana, it just wins the game whenever I cast it. I find out when I draw it. I'm not going to read it until then. No, no, can't make me read it. Everybody out there is just like wondering, why? Why are you not reading your card? That's because I don't want to. Lazy. Pro Tour is about two hours away. We ain't got time to be reading. We're just going to hope we don't draw it the entire night. We'll not sideboard it out if we do not draw it game one and I do not read it. So if I have no idea what it does, I'm not sideboarding it out, basically. I guess we'll keep this hand. We have, uh, like, a Gideon that we can't cast, and that's kind of cool. We have a Glorybound Initiate that's, like, probably... Oh, cool! Now we have two of those Gideons that we can't cast. We have a Glorybound Initiate that's, like, just, like, probably easily dies to a Chain Whirler or Chain Whirler type thing. Come get me. Come get me, Chain Whirler. Really kind of just hope this is a Grixis and not the Chain Whirler build of the deck. Ha! Victory! the hell? Yes, I exert. Just so he can't block. Could have cast Ronus, but like, it's not attacking anyway. And I really want to seal the Glint. And if he has like, a counter spell or something, I would like the ability to seal the Glint twice. No, 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 not two of those. That's not how this game is supposed to happen. Hey, JJ, what is up, fam? Hope everything's going wonderful for you today. I slept, I've ate, and I'm perky as all hell. I'm ready to watch some PT in about an hour. Cope! No, no! Friendo! We needed that. Friendo. Well, that was actually kind of a good draw. Because now there's a chance that we'll have uh, Blossoming Defense mana up for Zigotha. Then the attack, exert, nine. Then we have three. Doomfall. I have to exile a creature I control. Well, that's what you call getting wrecked. Well, alright. So we're a white mana away from, like, not wanting to kill ourselves. Would have sacked Aronis normally, but... That's 10. That ramps to 11. That doesn't help. I like how his three color deck has better mana than our two. Hey, Doshi. Or Dosha. I can't pronounce things. But anyway, as I was saying, I like how his three color deck has better mana than our two color deck. It feels fair to me. I don't know about you guys, but this feels fair. But I highly appreciate the, uh, the hosts there. Wee! Hey, that's not the right one. I assume we're dead, so we're just gonna make stupid lines. Maybe the five cards in his hand doesn't answer to either of these things. No problem. I try to do my best. I need to learn to improve those streaming and focusing on what's happening in the game while talking to a chat. I find something that's incredibly hard, like, like I'm struggling very bad at that. All right. You seem good. You seem good. <laughs> sure. You guys seem fine. 
I was gonna bring in everything that can attack. Let's just get them. What do you do? We're probably never getting that versus them. Um, I lied. I'm gonna read this thing. Well, that creature's not terrible. It's gonna get rid of these silhouettes too. I think. It's gonna live and down to Ixalan's binding. Think I'm gonna dump these because they're so bad versus Chain Whirler. Kind of want the card of him back. I need to start playing some more blue white. I felt blue white's just so bad versus the red black deck. So and you see how uh, I've not saw one of those in a while. You see, uh, like how much red black. Or like red black, you know, like red black blue, red black like Grixis or whatever. But like red black base list, we get paired versus. And the more and more of those we get paired versus, I think the worse and worse the blue white decks are. And I haven't figured out how to beat those decks of blue white. I'm sure there's a way. I've just not figured it out. What do you do? I think I'm just going to slam this one because I think there's a good chance that he like has an essence scatter or something, but like this probably doesn't die if we play it. Like I, I highly doubt that they're going to have, you know, uh, negate in or whatever. Teferi! Well, Search for Ascanta is my favorite card in Standard. It's my favorite card in Magic though, so I really need to get back to my control roots. Like any, anytime I'm not playing a control deck, I feel a little weird. They lift that in versus me. I find that a bit odd, but maybe it's not as odd as I think it is. Uh, I think I'm just going to play this one. Because so next turn, we can Glor Clow and Ronus on the same turn. <sighs> And if I just slam this, I feel like there's a good chance he's going to use a removal spell on it while we don't have up blossoming defense. And that just feels like a better turn to me than like slamming one of these this turn and these two next turn. Like it gets our Glor Cow down through an essence scatter unless he has like a braid plus scatter or something. Which I mean he could have, like that's a reasonable thing to have. They play Nicobolus, we're just going to discard the Resilient Kenra so that we still have our good turn. Show him what's coming for him, just so he can feel the pain. I think we're just going to prevent damage on this. We have a whole lot of smash out there right now. There's a chance that they have sweepers or whatever, but even if they have a sweeper, the Gideon and the Ronas both survive. So that's pretty swell. And being pretty swell is kind of pretty nice. Ooh. That's pretty cool, too. Ugh! Get, just get them. <laughs> Alright, well, we figured out what our deck's supposed to do. Our opponent's not supposed to play a relevant spell turn four, and we can just get them. Or until turn four, we can just get them. <laughs> Bear Legends. Woo! Kind of want a play mat of that. that this should have been the uh, Ilm 19 pre release. Sorry, uh, store championship play mat. Who wants Nicobolus when you could have Glorical? Uh, I'll shut up. It's like Bear Punch, but it's cooler. <laughs> was, it, was it that our draw was okay, or was it that our opponent's draw was absolutely useless? <laughs> Being pretty swell is kind of nice. Alright, I'm down. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ah, well, we can't keep this hand at all. But luckily, our opponent also mulligan. No! I don't want to go to five. I have to go to five. All right, well, we're just not playing Magic this game. And that's fine. Sweet! <laughs> it's a land. I imagine this game's already over with this wonderful draw that we have. Oh, right on time, Galta. I probably should have sideboarded some Galtas out in all honesty versus the all removal deck. Feels to me like I probably made a poor life decision not sideboarding these out, and I'm now getting absolutely punished for it. What would they be if I'd sided them out? If we sided all three of these out, they would have just been, like, two still aways and a heart of Kieran, so I don't think we'd be in any better shape. Maybe they would have been. No, nah, they wouldn't have been Death Course Scavengers. We have, like, a million threes and fours in our deck. Wee. We have a lot of lands. Can we draw one? The answer is yes. You know, if our opponent doesn't have a removal spell the rest of the game, we got this. But considering the fact they've already put a Torrential Gear Hulk in their graveyard and they put a counter spell in their graveyard, like, that's frightening to me. Yehini? Why does Yehini to me just not seem that good versus my deck? I guess it kills enough stuff. It kills Gorqual, it kills... No, Yehini's good. Yehini's good. Alright, one turn. Can we do it? Or are we conceding? And we're conceding. We had the Gideon's Intervention and the Ixalan's Binding, and we had them in our hand for the Scavenging Ground. We just didn't have the four, or sorry, Scarab God. We just didn't have four lands. Yeah, Yeni's pretty good versus my deck. I just wasn't thinking. Well, we had, we had a little fun until... I think we lost game one because we didn't have a second white man. I actually think the hand we had seemed pretty good. We probably would have lost anyway. They did have a Scarab God towards the end, but... Game three. Come on. We're playing a 24 land deck. We need, like, four. Doesn't seem hard. Well. Mulligan again. I guess we keep this one. We don't have double white again. Is anybody excited for the PT in about an hour and 40 minutes? Because I am excited. I am so very excited. And I just can't hide it. Got a feeling we're donating $12 of this deck today. No, Storm. I have to imagine our deck's not good versus Storm. <laughs> Um, right on time, Dauntless Friendo. Guess I'm just gonna go ahead and play this one. Kind of like waste the trigger of it, but we're really just hoping we hit the correct mana to play this next turn. Such a bad game in my state makes me upset. If we don't draw a land, I will use a Blossoming Defense to kill this, if given the opportunity. Yeah, nothing's changed. We're just never getting that, are we? Oh, yeah. What you gonna do when the Blossoming Defense is wasted on you?
We're just not even close here, are we? Alright, cool. Missed the land again. Ixalan's Binding or Gideon, either one would have been absurd on that turn. So even if we'd hit a forest, that would have been okay. I guess the Gideon wouldn't have been absurd. Ixalan's Binding would, so any land would have been nice. Uh, that means I'll have a counter spell now. Oh well. It's sad that I kind of want to hit the Amber more than I do the Psy. But I'm positive they have a counter spell. Yeah, well, we can attack. What do we sideboard in here? We sideboard in like Gideon's Interventions, Fragmatizes, some Fly things and some Trampley things. We've pressed F6, our opponent can have their fun. That's too much fun, opponent. Okay, I take it back. Opponent's not allowed to have their fun. We are dead. Um, so these X ones just don't do anything if they draw Psy, so we'll go ahead and get rid of those. The Silhouettes also don't do anything. So I guess we'll bring these things in to just have like a random four power. I don't think these are particularly good. Again, this is a random thing that has four power sometimes. Maybe it's better than nothing. I did not mean to click and drag that in there. Is there anything else that I've misclicked? Nope, there's not. Alright, land us. Alright, well we have two. That's a start. Two color decks been plagued with mana issues. Both in quantity and colors. I think if we just row off some lands, this is the type of draw we need to win a match like this. Rowing off the lands isn't that easy though. And another game that we're not playing Magic. What do we need to draw now? I guess we just need to draw Fragmentize, killing the Inspiring Statuary is going to be important. 
need them not to have a counter spell if we do draw it. Which is pretty hard. Why are they casting so many cards right now? A weird turn to cast those cards. Yeah, well, it looks like we don't really have options, so... Just go ahead and play this card and be sad. That's going to get Counterspelled or Baral's Expertise next turn. Baral's Expertise normally isn't that big of an issue. Like, you normally don't care about it in these decks because you can just, like, replay your entire hand in one draw step. But when we're mana screwed, Baral's expertise is particularly punishing. They're blocking here, that means they probably have outcome. Which outcome makes sense for the reason for them casting the Mox Amber and the Renegade map here? Yeah, so we basically have to just hope that they dodge uh, Baral's expertise or the game is over. Well, that's a good one, too. We can beat that, though. Like, that's beatable. It's the expertise that isn't beatable. They still have expertise mana. Fine with this. Probably can't beat a metallic rebuke either. Like, if they have a rebuke for this blossoming defense, we're probably dead. Well, that's assuming that they have the, uh... Uh, because I'm worried about the blossoming defense, not the creatures. Like, I'm worried about them bouncing this card and us not being able to protect it with the blossoming defense. Like, whether they have a commit or a Baral's expertise or just, like, you know, like one of those type of effects for the Galta. Like, I think we need the Galta a lot to win, and I really want the Blossoming Defense to be able to potentially protect it. I feel like that's going to be one of the keys here. Could be wrong. Could just not matter. Like, maybe they just go off this turn. Or maybe they get enough stuff to block it that that it never matters anyway. Like I'm a, I'm aware of the cat snake. Two, three. Oh, Karn. The 6-6 six, six is pretty good. Yeah, 
Yeah, we might just lose anyway. Karn's really good. Kind of want to draw another land again. Would love to be able to get the Gore Claw out this turn while keeping the defense up. That's not another land. That's not another land at all. If I could just attack Karn here, makes him put more things in front of it, I think. Unless he has another card in his hand and then he just ignores it. Alright, I'm just going face. I have to go Karn, I guess. If I went face, there was a small chance that they mess up of a block. I think I'm just going to cast Gore Call anyway. I feel like this game's pretty close to over, so we're just going to take the shields down. Like, I don't know if we get another turn. And I don't know that if we did get another turn that we beat Baral's expertise regardless. Drew Cyborg cards, though. Steph Scorch Scavenger and his Carnage Tyrant are so good. Paper papered. <laughs> All right. Well, that's probably all she wrote if she's taking the time, or if they're taking the time to play that out now. Don't do it. But did they draw a card? If they were going to draw a card, why'd they play this first? Just draw the card first. You might find something better for your mana. They're trying to get. I don't. I don't really know what went on this turn. Now they're tapped out. So this gives everything plus one plus one and trample. Um, I want to put you on the stack first, and then I want to take, I guess, the Karn out of your graveyard. So we give it four power. 
And now we're attacking with 13, 18, 20, 30 points of trample, 32 points of trample. So they have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So they have 33. But they may not put the sign in combat. I don't think they realize that everything I have has trample. Yeah, they put the sign in combat. That's unfortunate. Eh. Maybe my math's off. Oh, my math was off. Nice. I love it when my math's off. What the, what the hell did I mess up? Um, 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, this is 13. So, 33, 34, 35. Okay, yeah. Yeah, my math was just way off. I have no idea what I counted so wrong. I think I counted this as 12, and I think I counted this as uh, 4. How did we win that game? Doesn't feel like a game we were supposed to win. That being said, we're running it back nasty. Really don't think that was a game we were supposed to win. And I'm glad that I can't do math. I've only got 10 fingers and 10 toes, and we had to count to 35 just then. Or 33 or whatever. So, it's not my fault. If, if if humans were meant to count to such high numbers, we would have more fingers and toes. It's just a fact. It's just a fact, Jack. Would love to draw an untapped land. <laughs> right on time, sun, sun, uh, sun pedal. <laughs> right on time. Still think this hand was a pretty easy keep. Even though right now I feel pretty disgusted by it. I feel especially uh, ins uh, disgusted by it because if they pl play an Inspiring this turn, I'm going to want to take another entire turn off. I am still just like mind blown how like three color decks have better mana than two color decks. You'd think our mana would be decent, but it's not. They top that they're lagging. Yeah, well, if they're lagging. Oh, check my email. It's been like a hot minute since I've checked it. I'm going to check my Facebook. Wow. Triple Prism. That's pretty nice. Got me. Alright. Oh, right on time. Yeah, trying to try to finish your league before the PT starts. And by trying to finish your league before the PT starts, I mean trying to draw lands. What the hell? There's a Karn. Do we have to kill Karn? Oh, 
Feels like we had to kill Karn. As bad as it feels to throw that away. At least this is a single color deck that's getting better land than us. I'm just pressing F6. I don't know why I'm pretending like I have spells. Hey, Juka. Good morning. At least it seems their hands like kind of medium. Oh, never mind, they drew best card. Their hand is not medium at all. Do 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 in our future we will get lands I promise. Actually I don't I don't promise. Do I know any anything about internet tech? Not really. I'm a dumb redneck man. I can barely turn my computer on. I really just want to concede right now. They can if this is a, a paradoxical outstorm, I am conceding. Actually, I won't. I'll just press F6 and let them have their fun. Who cares? All right. So what can I do on another monitor while we let them just have their fun? Do, 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 do. I can read my comments on YouTube. For those of you who don't know, there's a link to my YouTube below the stream. Advertising. Done well. Oh God, so many words. Eh, all right. I'm great. Done. Happy YouTube anniversary. It's been... 525,600 minutes since your first upload. That's a whole year. Well, thank you, YouTube. Math. We dead yet? We're dead, right? Like, I can, I can just scoop. You should call that tech support. All right. We've had enough fun. You win, opponent. You win. That's, is that the first Ornithopter we've saw in three games? Need to buy Antiquities Anifopter, or Ornithopters today. Let me write myself a note over here. Yeah. Note written. Boom. All right, opponent had their fun. We're dead. And we won a game both matches. Not really got to play very much. That reminds me, I need to do something else. 
The snake's kind of cool. It's just not very... Oh, cool. Sexy Gear Hulk. All right, so we got an hour and 12 minutes to win and or lose three matches. We'll probably, even if we're not finished the entire league, we'll probably stop um, when the PT comes on either way. Unless we're still in contention for a prize, anyway. All right, this is a red deck. And our hand's really bad. At this point, I'm not sure what a good hand for this deck is. Like, we're in a spot now to where if they have an Abrade or a Murder Boat for this Heart of Kieran, we're probably just going to lose. Hmm. Maybe it's better to seal away, but I'm not going to. Well, they currently don't have anything. I guess that's something. <laughs> yes, Donkey, it's the Silver Showcase. All right, opponent, you do not have an abraid. You do not have an abraid. Yeah, well, they... They probably had an abraid, I don't know. Boom. Boom. I assume this thing's dying this turn, by the way. So who needs to block? Um, it's kind of a slow deck, and I had a limited amount of time before the Pro Tour starts. Wait, what? Forgot that I get to play an extra thing because of that. So, so I messed up here. I should have left a green untapped to at least bluff. What is this? Okay, short. Well, I wasn't blocking anyway, and that could have that would have died to chain whirler either way. So, I guess we're absolutely fine with that. That's a Tweety Bird. Alright, well, how do we win this turn? Just cast this, crew this, bash with them all. Say they block the biggest, they still take 11. Oh no, they don't take 11, they just take 9. Because they're going to block this. If they block that, they are dead, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So they're blocking 3 here. So we just give this trample. If they blocked Arona, so they would have still been alive.
No, they wouldn't. They would have still been dead, wouldn't they? They'd have blocked Aronis, and then we'd have done five nine. We'd have done eleven out of way. They didn't have. They didn't have a block. All right, math. Maybe that's why I keep losing with this deck because I can't count to twenty. But I'm telling you, I only have ten fingers. How was I supposed to count that high? I don't think you people understand. That's right, you people. You heard me. I said you people. You people, the viewers, don't understand. That it's really hard to count that high. I think I'm just gonna get rid of all of these things with one in the toughness. Yeah, but I'm really, really fat, Gobo. Like it's hard to get to my f fingers to count those. Oh no, no! Apparently when I clicked and dragged, that next one didn't get out of the deck. Uh, I think there's an next one still in our deck. It's really hard to count my toes. I can't bend over that far, man. It's one of the first cards I'd sideboarded out versus what looked like the all-creature deck. But what the hell do I know? I don't think I care if I take another point of damage here. It probably is. I have two family members that have lost uh, a finger in accidents. <laughs> Sadly, probably is. At least our hand's kind of good. There's some percentage chance that the Carnage Tyrant just does the nasty. Oh, whatever. You got me. I'll just go ahead and cast this on your Beaumont now. So we have a binding if it's... Oh. Well, good God. What do we call now? There's so many things we could call. We know he has for killing Phoenix. Like, Chandra scares me more. It's called Rekindling Phoenix. If he plays Chandra, we'll binding it. I will block. Can't trick me. So that's eight, I think. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's eight. My would blossoming defense to save. Yeah, defense to save whatever they play here. <laughs> barbecue sauce on your pasta. That would have uh, been different. All right. Well, I thought we were going to win this game, and then we're somehow on turn seven with the same amount of lands as our opponent who was missing lands early. That is a Chandra. They minus, I'll probably defend whatever they try to kill. Mainly because I'm a wild child.
All right, so assuming they don't have a removal spell, at least next turn the sword tooth can start bashing. Uh, now they're at Glorybringer o'clock, though. We can't beat Glorybringer from here. We can beat that, though. I guess we have to leave up to settle the wreckage the rest of the game. Turn 10, still don't even have a fifth land. Yeah, that's a card. Is he going to use double spell on it? He is, in fact, going to use a double spell on it. Oh, if we draw a land, this thing can attack for two. Oh, yeah. Time to get that two points of damage, baby. <laughs> um, it's actually not that terrible. Oh, I messed up there, probably. I don't think they actually have a removal spell, though, so it's probably okay. I think if they had a removal spell, some of their other turns would have been different. Oh, <laughs> we got one! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, take that, red black opponent. You can suck it. All right, so we have an hour to finish two matches. I think we can do it. I got confidence. I got faith. I think we can do it today. We did get to bear punch some people today, though, which was kind of sweet. Bear punching into USA. What's in payment reminder to this young fella? I need, I need my shekels. I think that's a word, right? <laughs> All right, we'll keep. Get out of here, land. So not a red deck, and we drew an X one. Well, that's not fun. Eh, double silhouette at least is something. I don't want to kill this. I don't know if I'm supposed to.
Eek. No chain whirler, please. <laughs> hard, hard pass. Double removal. Rip. It's going to be hard for us to win. I have to draw like a binding. Basically now. And that might not be even good enough. Alright, yeah. Nothing that we can do is good enough now. Alright. So we'll get rid of the 7x ones for sure. Bring in the two settles. Bring in these. Bring in probably these and these. Which means I'll have to take out more cards. <laughs> you're on you're on zero percent if you think I'm gonna manage that. I guess I'm gonna shave one of these. I don't know. That card actually seems pretty good. Shave one of these. I guess it's just this. I'll try this sideboarding this time. Uh, we have lands. We will keep. Hmm. I think I'm fine with just playing it. They could have Magma Spray. I just realized they have Magma Spray in their main deck. Magma Spray in the main deck. What the hell? Hey, Dong, thanks for the biddies, my friend. All right, well, we would like to draw a land. Guess what we didn't draw? If you said land, you're probably right. You may not be 100% right, but you're probably right if you said land. Right, I'm going to play this one because it lets us hold up Blossoming Defense. Even though it's not particularly close to attacking anytime. But defense does seem relevant to me. What the hell's in their hand? Is it just like Mono Glorybringers? That's a glory ringer. What's glory ringer do here? It attacks. Oh wow, that was a great draw. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk. <laughs> Love it. Well, this isn't good for them. 
Boom. You lose, friendo. Alright. Well, when your opponent plays not a re or they play one spell on turn one and not another spell till turn four, as we've already figured out, we can win those games. Feels good. Oh, pinch these nips. Oh god, yeah. Feels great. We're just gonna resubmit it, I think. Oh uh, yeah! I dropped out of college at 93 credit hours because I'm a loser. You guys here talking about your degrees and your lives and how good you are at things, and I'm just trying to play some magic, man. And I'm not even doing. I'm not even playing some magic good. That's one of the most annoying cards in standard. I just want to put that out there. Um, go bow because I realized that if I continued to get my degree, A, I would have to move and I don't want to move, but B, that I don't think it's a job I could do the rest of my life without, with, with any amount of enjoyment. Like, I think it was a good career, but like, I think it would have just driven me insane, basically. Yes, I want to play this one. I don't know which one of these I actually play. I don't want to change subjects. I don't want to play any of these things. That's kind of a problem, right? Well, I have to play something. All right, we'll play this one. I don't really want to play any of them. Like, none of them seem good here. Double black spell. Alright, well at least we get to attack the Chandra. So that's something. If we draw a second land, or if we draw a fourth land, we could have killed the Chandra. We didn't, because why would we draw a land? We've gotten destroyed on lands the entire night. Like, not even close. The literal entire night have been land draws like this. Mm, frustrating. And then they're ticking up. If they have another creature, I'm going to be salty. Another creature would cause us a lot of problems. I uh, can't win now. No lands and we're out. All three rounds we lost, we just didn't get to play Magic some number of the games. Of course, the one round that we won, it felt like our opponent didn't get to play Magic. Uh, this hand seems horrendous, but I don't know if it's a mulligan. I'm starting to realize the more and more I stream, like the more and more magic's just about who draws better online. <laughs> nice silhouettes versus the blue white player. Couldn't get them. In game three versus the other opponent. Versus the old red black guy. So we'll play that and then cycle this. Maybe we'll hit another one drop. It's still the funnest game around though. This card probably doesn't do much more versus them than what we just did, so. It's 
So now we have to draw lands and spells. That's probably not going to work out well for us, is it? It's been a hot minute since I've seen somebody put history lessons on the table. I don't know why, but I find that entire turn sequence moderately odd. Yeah. Attack your face, attack a Johnny, attack your face. Seems to me like just putting counters on the knight seem better there. Um, I was hoping to block Murph. My goal was to block. So they just made this exact same line again, which was just letting me kill Johnny's. I'm not sure how that's good. It's like they're just kind of wasting these Johnny's. Now granted, that second one they probably have to waste, but the entire reason that they're not ahead on board right now is because they didn't tick up with a Johnny to one turn. Like that's all they had to do is tick up a Johnny one turn. And this game would have been over a long time ago. Well, we found all our lands this game. We've drawn more than 50% of our draw steps as lands. If they have Ralph, they have Ralph. Yeah, if they just have Ralph, they have Ralph. Like killing it's not bad, so. Now no drone nine land in sixteen draw steps. I was drawing a bunch too though. They've drawn at least eight. They could have two more in hand, we don't know. That was a good draw when we have 7 million lands in play.
JK. But still a good draw, technically. Just went 3-0 in my league. We're now at 11 lands. Our opponent's just at 9. Or, sorry, 10. Math. Wait, 4, 8, yeah, 10. We're both at 11 now. I'm at 12. Not a grace. Doesn't do anything here. Ooh. Do you resolve? You do resolve. All right. I think we win now. Assuming they don't have settled wreckage. So it's time to tell our opponent our favorite thing. Yo, homie. Yeah, we won't type that. Just type yo, opponent person. All right, so we've said our peace to our opponent. We feel like good human beings now. Being good human beings is fun. Let's get these little turd burglars out of here. Let's get these little things out of here. Uh, they probably have sweepers, so I guess I'm going to get you and you out. I'll bring in them then. Yeah, I should have that on copy pasta. We, we, uh, we play some, uh, we play some, uh, stinker of decks here. I might, I might write up something and put it on the old copy pasta now that you mention it. All right, well, we'll keep this hand. We have a bunch of powerful spells. And some amount of mana. It's a miracle. I might have should have brought in Fragmentize. Because they probably have like some silways or cast outs and they have histories. I'm probably just silly that I didn't. Boo! We did not have the right color mana. Uh, PT coverage starts in about 38 minutes. 38 minutes. No, f you! How dare you play uh, Man of War versus me? Ah, tilt! At three lands in the opening hand deck. Come on, 
You'd think we'd be able to draw one land and four draw steps. And we're done here. Yeah. Just going bigger, we're going home, I've decided. Yeah, they wanted to make it a human, I guess, and a wizard and all of that. We get to play magic cards this game. It's been pretty rare for us this evening. Just so we can see what's coming. Boom. Get out of the way. It's the glory bound initiative. Hey, hey. Uh, I'm rhyming now. Rhyming's the best. No! Opponent! Come on! Come on! By the way, do you guys like how I masterfully sideboarded out Blossoming Defense? Not that any of the cards that we've drawn would have been a potential Blossoming Defense. We've drawn... You know, three spells and ten draw steps so far. There's a good chance they counterspell this. I want to be able to attack without pumping. I think if they have settle, I'm just going to be sad, but I'm going to allow it. I think there's a good chance that they do have settle. I don't even know what trios they are, man. Like, Wizards of Coast is very bad at advertising that type of stuff. Like, they're literally the only two teams, I know like five teams, and the only two teams of pros I know are like the two Pantheon teams. I don't know anything else. Uh, this attacks better than it than it doesn't, I guess. Going to need to draw one of our good spells. Yeah, I don't know who that is. The only poker player I know that's qualified is Efro and like Dave Williams. So I don't know who the third one is. Don't know who Sam Sam. I don't know who any of these people are, man. You've not mentioned anybody that I would root for yet. Do 
Yep. You've still not mentioned anybody I would root for. God, it's going to be hard to beat that one. Guess we're just going to attack with this one. As bad as I hate to do it, I feel like I have to throw this on something over there. Probably the Knight of Grace. I don't, I don't believe in special invites to, like, former pros, so that makes it hard for me to root for that team. I think if they're going to do special invites, they need to do it for people outside of the pro gaming community. People like, I don't know, like Amaz or something, you know? I said pro gaming, but I meant pro magic. So it makes it hard to root for somebody like that. No offense to them, like I like them all, but it's just not what I want out of my pro tour. Like I've got nothing against Peculiar, it's just not what I want when I watch the pro tour. Or if it is somebody of that nature, like I at least want them to be a big streamer or something, you know? But for the most part, I don't like special invites. I think the special invites really need to promote the Pro Tour itself for it to be acceptable in my eyes anyway. What's well, in my eyes is irrelevant as well. Like, also, don't root for anybody who's like been suspended or DQ'd before, unless I feel like they've like really made attrition. Yeah, I like Reed. I like Jerry. I got nothing against either of them. I would, I'm um, always want to see things, I always want to see good things happen to Jerry. Or happen for Jerry, even. Like Jerry's a very, very good person, in my opinion. Like, if somebody's cleaned up their games and are making positive uh, contributions to society and stuff like that, I'm fine with rooting for those. Like, for example, um, I like Sado. But, like, for the people who've, like, basically not even apologized or whatever, I don't, I don't want to root for those guys. Hey, maybe we get to leverage this Fragmentize finally. We've drawn a lot of lands. Oh, we were talking about rooting for people who have cheated at the Pro Tour and whatnot. And like what it takes for me to cheat for, or, or like forgive somebody from the past. Like, I forgive the people who apologize and like specifically try to, uh, you know, like, better the community and stuff. Don't know who they are? Let's 
game's going on forever. Pretty fine with that. It's looking like our Carnage Tyrant's about to be a defensive Tyrant. He's still got four cards in their hand. We've got 13 lands out of the 21 cards we saw. They did settle two of them. So out of the 19 cards we've drawn, we've hit 11 lands or something. Uh, I like Matt a lot, but he falls into the same category. Like, I don't really want to cheer for, uh, Fabio and Threezy or whatever his name is. I do want good things to happen for Ginger, though. And I don't wish bad on these people, by the way. I said too many of them to name. Just too many to name. And it's like kind of a negative conversation. I'm not into that either. I don't like negative conversations. Like, I'm willing to forgive the guy. If, like, I thought that he was doing something to be forgiven. But, like, the other day... Somebody says something rude to him, and I highly, I fully admit what they said was rude to him, but he responded with, um, his response was, I'm sorry that you don't know what it's like to come from a non-first world country or whatever, like, like his situation or where he come from made it okay. So, like, I don't think the guy's actually sorry, and then I won't root for him. Misplaced Ginger is under Pro Tour, yes. Uh, yes, Loco Dope, I think he, no, no, I don't think he is Loco Dope. Um, Acid, uh, I'll let you Google that, like, uh, it's like just easy to Google, but like, like just people that have been mentioned right now, like Marcio Cavallo's been DQ'd and suspended, Tamahiro Sato, Dave Williams, I mean. Those are just people that have been mentioned in the past five minutes. But, I mean, I'm literally, there are dozens and dozens and dozens of them that have been suspended or DQ'd at some point in their career. But, like I said, I feel like this is a bit of a negative uh, conversation because, like, I don't... Because we're talking, we're getting to the point now of, like, talking of opinions, like, what it takes for me to forgive somebody, and that's not the same as, like, a factual-based comment, and, like, you know, like, if it's easier for you to forgive and forget than me, like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't, I don't wish, uh, I, did, I didn't know he had Murph, that's new to me. I mean, Acid, it's, it's going to be like that in any game you play, whether it be poker, whether it be magic, whether it be sports like the NFL or the NBA or the soccer league, whether it's competitive shooting, whether it's NASCAR. Any single time you take something that there is a comp or chess, anything, any single time that you're going to have a competition with monetary values, that are, you know, in the tens, the hundreds, the millions, or whatever of type of money they are, you're going to find some percentage of people that are going to cheat. It's just the way of the world. Like, I don't I don't want to say that it's sad, but like, you know. It's just, in every single game, you're going to find that subset of people. Like, it's a small percentage, like it's nothing to worry about. 
I'm not going to say that you're never going to get cheated, but I'm going to tell you that like 99.9% .9 of the people that you meet are honest, which is why it's like kind of so appalling when people do do it, but it is going to happen like, some of these people are from like third world countries and the difference of first place to top 16 can literally change their entire way of life and their entire family's way of life. It's like real easy to say you would not cheat, right? Like I can sit here and say I would not cheat. You can sit here and say you would not cheat or you can sit here and say you would cheat if you're that type of person. It's super easy to say you wouldn't do these things until you're in the moment and then like, when when you get in that moment and like you know you can get away with drawing an extra card and it gives you a hundred thousand dollars or whatever that's the only time and, and then not cheating is the only time you can truly know that you wouldn't cheat or whatever you know what i'm saying like i'm, I'm just trying to say I, I don't know there's a term for it but it's like one of those things like would you shoot somebody for a million dollars and like almost everybody on the planet would say no um with there being no retribution or punishment if you did shoot them, but like, it's like one of those conundrums till you're actually in that situation, your answer did not matter. But like, I would personally say that I would never cheat, and I don't think I ever would, but again, you know, until I'm in the situation, how would I ever truly know? Um, but they still are some cheating in chess and stuff like that. Like, I've been to chess tournaments before where there's, like, 35 or like thirty-five matches being played in the room at a single time. And, like, there would only be, like, five judges or officials. And there would be, there would literally be people saying, like, this dude made a move that he didn't move, make and things of that nature. Or they'd be people that were, like, trying to manipulate the shot clocks in certain ways. You know, like, hitting the opponent's button when they shouldn't. Stuff like that. But, like, um... Um, so yeah, on a game where like, on a game like chess where, where it is face up, like it's harder, harder to actually cheat at it or whatever. Like sometimes, you know, like maybe they'll move their knight two up and two over instead of two up and one over or something like that. Like it happens in those games too. It's just easier to track in those games. Cause you gotta, you gotta think about this. Like when you go to the pro tour of magic or hell, let's not even talk about the pro tour. When you go to a grand prix of magic, right? There's going to be like 1200 people there. So there's going to be like 600 different matches going at one time. You can't have a judge standing over every single match. So like, and then like in a game like magic, that's, I don't want to say more complicated than chess because obviously chess strategy is deeply complicated, but, like, it's everybody who sits down and plays chess at a moderately competitive level knows the ruling of every single card, right? Or, sorry, every single piece. Like, you know what your rook can do. You know what your bishop can do. But, like, in Magic, maybe you don't know what your Chains of Mistopheles does when paired with another card. Or, or like, maybe you forget to unsideboard and you don't want to tell your opponent because your opponent doesn't. It's, it's just easier to cheat in a game like that. But, yeah, cheating does somewhat happen in uh, the other mediums, too. Like, they are some cheating in chess. It's just not prevalent, really, at the, the highest levels of competition because, you know, <laughs> that's fair enough. Hey, Sniper. Hey, JJ. Well, anyway, so that's going to do it for us today. We got absolutely smashed with this deck. Have no idea whether the deck's good or bad. All I know is like we struggled for mana the entire night. Um, we had multiple instances where we would just have like Gideon and not have two white sources, or we'd have multiple instances where we just didn't draw our third or fourth or fifth lands and just like couldn't play. But overall, I would say this deck was probably not good. I was just wanting to play a Glorkal deck, and we played it, and we've cast it, and we beat somebody with it, so it was fun. But overall, I would say this deck is not competitive. But thank you guys so much for stopping by. And keep in mind that on the official Magic the Gathering channel in about 18 minutes, the Pro Tour is going to start. It's going to be Team Trios. So there's going to be some Modern. There's going to be some Standard. There's going to be some Legacy. And it uh, should be a good time. Hope everybody enjoys your weekend. If you're going out to Friday Night Magic or to party or you know to watch a movie or hang out with friends or whatever it is. 
you know, have some fun. And as JJ stated, um, you can definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter to see every time we go live all the deck lists we play. And you can also follow my YouTube channel, which there's a link below to stream, or I think you can just type YouTube into stream, but I don't know. Yeah, you can. Hot damn. And a new video goes up basically every single day on YouTube in about, I don't know, about four hours, there'll be a blue black improvised video going up on YouTube, which was a pretty fun stream. Black Karn's a really cool card, but yeah, you guys don't want to hear me ramble anymore. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Or, well, enjoy your today. I don't know. Enjoy life. You know. Eat some pizza. Get a donut. You know, cool things. <laughs>